These are the children of Pekonkori in Guagualar Area Council of the FCT. Something is special about these children. Let me sit down and tell you. These children, you may not believe it, all have Bilhazia. It is a real story, but it is real life. The people of Pekonkori, not only their children, are under the spell of Bilhazia. The explosion of the disease is, however, not limited to this community of 16,000 people. Six adjoining villages along the bank of their stream are similarly held captive. To a television reporter, capturing Bilhazia and adult population in pictures can be a moral issue because it streams through the urine. In truth, however, no household among these communities has no case with Bilhazia. There is the case of Adiza Shaibu, for instance, and her four children. They all have the disease. For six years, Adiza said the sickness had been with her, itching her painfully, dropping blood in her urine, making her not able to eat well, and always making her weak and dizzy. When we came here, we had an on-ground survey where questionnaires were served to this um, community, to the villagers, and we had about 80% of the community having schistosomiasis, majority being women and children. And in fact, the second time I was here, I was there to the warm school children at their local school, LEA primary school here. And it was virtually like the whole class. When you say raise up your hand, if you've ever united blood, it's like the whole children. It is a very hilarious life at the stream side for these children of Pekonkori, and they find life very conducive and very playful at the stream. But then, the same stream that is giving them so much joy is the one that is also giving them so much Bilhazia. Health practitioners strongly believe this running water may have been the cause of these communities' Bilhazia. It is their major source of water for laundry, for the sport of their children, and for drinking. The communities believe so too, blaming as well refuse and excreta that are washed to the stream daily by rains. We need to step up our own intervention, you know, to carry the community people along and make our policies much more responsive to the health challenges of people. These communities, large as they are, have no adequate source of clean water. An MDG borehole has stopped working for years. The only functional borehole serves only a fraction of the population and is erratic. Perhaps the biggest story is that while the disease ravages the community, they have not been accessing care. Their health center is a name. Hadiza complained of poverty. Yet, this community are not distant to main town, Guagualada. The people of Pekonkori needed care. Bilhadia among them is a medical emergency. It must be said too that they must improve on their hygiene. Mohamed Hamis Rugu, NT News 24 in Guagualada.